Hi everyone, um, this is a part two of the Aero smartwatch. I think we're going to end up having a part three uh, simply because I can't quite download the app right now uh, with this QR code that is sitting on uh, the manual. And I'll show you here what happens when I scan that QR code. You'll see here, I've got this, I'm not sure if it will be in focus. It picks the barcode up right away, and it comes up with an address, which is uh, tp.oldwang.xin slash api slash app slash arrow dot html. Um, so when I click on that, I go to a page that's currently been timing out, and it's been doing that since I got the watch on Saturday. So we'll let that be for a second. I think it's going to time out again, and I'm not really going to force it at this point for you guys to, uh, I'm not going to force you to watch the whole darn thing. Um, but that's the uh, the address, and I, I can post that address in the um, comments here as well, if needed. Uh, the first thing I did, which was uh, recommended on one of the update videos, is I went ahead and changed the language to uh, English away from Chinese and so the first thing I did was uh, one of the smart one of the good things to know is that if you swipe from the bottom right towards the bottom left that's kind of the back button or similar to um, yeah I would say it's similar to the back button on the Android uh, kind of close to the home button on the Apple uh, on Apple devices but um, probably closer to the back button um, so you can turn off and on the screen or similarly, you can simply flick your wrist up and it will turn the screen um, on as you're looking at it. Uh, so, what was I saying? Oh, uh, oh, the language part of it. So this was covered in one of the videos from, I believe, one of the founders. But you just simply click on settings. And once you're there, you're going to go to the globe element, which this has already been put into English, but it's right here. It looks like a globe. And the very top element is language, and you just find English or whatever your language is, and you jump to that. I'm not sure if that's going to be in focus here for you or not. I'm trying to peek at the um, back of the camera. I can't tell if it's in focus or not. But uh, it's on this screen here, and you just change it, and it will, it will switch out for you. So I'm going to go back by going from the top right to the bottom left, and I should be back at that menu screen. Um... In addition to this button right here, the on-off uh, button, is the camera button. So you click that and it takes you right into the camera mode and you can see that I'm looking here with the camera. I can turn the dial on that and it will switch the orientation. If I want to take a quick picture, I simply click that button. Uh, if you want to take a burst photo, you click and hold that button. I don't want to at this point, but it does work. And then if I want to take a video, I can do that. And it will get sound. Uh, I haven't been able to check out the quality of the video yet on my computer, simply because I cannot connect uh, via an app right now. So I can't get that video over to anything at the moment. Uh, what I would say is it does appear on first appearance that uh, the videos that this plays do look like a significantly higher quality. Um, but I will say that the videos do appear to be a significantly higher quality. And let's see if I can get into these. It doesn't play sound uh, when you play back uh, through this, but uh, you can see that uh, it looks like a pretty decent video and it's supposed to be 1080p. So I'm not sure exactly how nice that's going to be once I get it to a computer, um, but it looks good enough that um, it's going to be, it's better than the one that comes with my Lem 7, uh, which is pretty, pretty poor. Um, it looks like we've got a, a finally a battery low warning. I'm at about 15%. Um, I've had this going since yesterday morning, uh, and it's about 5 p.m. today. So uh, 24 hours uh, plus about 12 or so um, is going to be over a day there. Um, Let's see what else here. Uh, let's go through some of the app elements. 
uh, gallery. I think I just showed you inadvertently the gallery camera. You, we were just in there. The pedometer. It doesn't seem like it gets every single click sometimes. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Gosh, I've been clicking that about five times now. That's frustrating. Let's try and turn that off and on. Okay. I'm not sure why that wasn't going. Um, but it shows my steps, shows calories burnt, um, and I'm not sure what this graph is specifically. Uh, settings, I think we were just there, so we can modify a bunch of elements there. One thing I was a little upset about, or so far, and maybe the software will catch up, it doesn't appear that I can actually add other apps. Uh, I like to add like Gmail or have any notifications or, or, or some kind of uh, notifications app that I'd like to be able to install here. I don't see that anywhere um, on this watch so far. So I'm really interested to see what we're going to end up with with the app functionality uh, versus what was originally advertised. All right, so um, next section is the calendar. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to sync with any of my calendars right now simply because um, we don't really have any um, uh, linkage uh, to any of my devices. Right now, you can't even really click in a date. Um, you can simply scroll and pretty much this tells you what date it is and what date, uh, what day of the week certain elements fall upon. Uh, so uh, we are, I think, in a pretty primitive version of the calendar here. Clock will actually show you, I think we get a stopwatch we have an alarm. We have a countdown as well. That can be set. Um, pretty basic functionality there. Uh, calculator, I think we all know how a calculator works. It's pretty, um, pr pretty um, primitive calculators. It's uh, pretty useful though. It does work. File manager. Um, here's where we have watch storage and then I can go into the standard um, Android storage uh, folder system and I can see here that it shows that the videos I've created are in 3GP format and the images are in JPEG format. I am not sure if I can actually um, set that up to go into uh, MP4 format as a video so that remains to be seen. Let's get back here and then the last screen is a sound recorder. That's pretty cut and dry. I just record and then you can review your, your sound clips. Uh, we have an angle calibration. This is a tool that I believe will help with um, the calibration that um, occurs sometimes, I guess, when the, the clock might get stuck. Uh, so there's a little wizard there that you go through. I am done with this. And the last one is uh, the one I haven't really been able to get to. I believe this is uh, some kind of file synchronage uh, tool that uh, works with the app that would be downloaded on the phone uh, that I haven't been able to kind of jump into yet. Overall, um, again, I think the camera quality is fantastic uh, versus what I've got on uh, my other smartwatch that has a camera on it. And that might be the reason that this, this fella is so big. I think this one uh, measures in at about three quarters of an inch thick um, uh, on a profile. So you really got to have a usage for it uh, in order for it to um, uh, be useful for you. Um, but, uh, oh, here's the watch faces. Here's the selection on that. It's got a red one. Black and red. Another black and red and silver. Blue and white. Blue white looks like a silver uh, theme there. I kind of like the ones that kind of show you all of the all the uh, elements at once, with the um, the day of the week, the number of the date, and the weather that's going on outside. So um, that's it for part two. As soon as uh, the app here begins to work. 
I will um, do maybe a part three and give an actual review uh, on this item. Until then, uh, we'll, um, we'll see you soon. Thank you.